Same question, final player, Nick Mullins. It's not like he played like Jimmy Ward or Richard Sherman in this last game, but he won. He was good enough for the 49ers to beat a playoff team, backup quarterback. My question is, was that a one-off? Is he going to go up and down? Or can we expect the same from Nick Mullins? Is he going to pick, pick up where he left off against the Rams moving forward? Well, if you look at where he left off, he was 11 for uh, 11 of 14 for 117 yards over the, at the end of the game, Ooh. over his last few series of the game. And you know, he was 9 of 11 on those last two. So he was pretty darn good towards the end of the game. He, he started off okay. You know, the offense was just all over the place in the first half. It wasn't just him. Uh, he had that really good drive right before halftime. Uh, they were kind of all – Aaron Donald was just wrecking the, the offense in the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, the Niners kind of turned around. Do I think he's going to keep up? He's going to play well. I think you were going to see him duplicate – not probably come in out and play somewhere similar. You know, when, uh, I was looking back to see if he'd even won two games in a row yet in his career, and he did. Uh, if you mm -hmm. remember when they pulled off the upset against uh, – uh, it was Seattle, and they came back the next week mm -hmm. and did it against Denver. So, oh, yeah. So uh, I, I think that he can come out and play well. The other thing is he's got Brandon Ayuk this week. Mm -hmm. He's got another playmaker on the offense. So I, I really like what – I really think that he's going to be able to step up. And plus he better because otherwise I'm going to hear about it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It'll be your fault for building him up. Have you built up everyone's expectations. It's your fault. <laughs> Sorry. Nick. I'm, I'm partially tempted – to say Mullins' performance against the Rams is his floor. I'm not going to go that far. His floor for the remainder of the year. Because he had some very, very, very bad throws in that game. But when it mattered, he got the win for you. He came through with a couple of huge throws in the fourth quarter. Like Jack touched on, 11 of 14 were his completions to pass attempts in that fourth quarter. He looked good. I feel good about him leading the offense moving forward. And I'd say to expect more performances like he played against the Rams coming up in the future. I don't expect any more duds like we saw against the Eagles. He may throw a bad pick, but I don't expect him to solely lose a game. And you can argue he did that against the Eagles. I think he's going to play well down the stretch. I think Mullins has, can continue what he was doing the last game because I think Kyle Shanahan's finally learning that he has to call the game like Jimmy he does for Jimmy Garoppolo and get the ball out of Nick Mullen's hands. That's something he struggles with is he holds onto the ball too long sometimes. And the offensive line also isn't good. So that increases the or decreases the time he's allowed to hold onto the ball. And he needs to get the ball to Debo Samuel quickly. He needs to get the ball to Brandon Ayu quickly, Jordan Reed, whoever you want to throw to. And that will work. Also running the ball. That that'll decrease the pressure. I think that will help him a lot. Yeah, the key is is Shanahan learning he needs to call plays the way he call games the way he calls them for for Jimmy. I mean, for Nick, I think Kyle loves Nick. I, there's something he really likes Nick, and I think he gets excited when Nick's in the game and wants to call passes down the field to show the difference between the two quarterbacks. And it's not the best way to go with Nick because he's still inexperienced and he is turning the ball over. I mean, what what Jimmy and Nick have in common is they're both throwing picks at a high rate. So what? Kyle does for Jimmy is to basically take the game out of his hands, call a lot of short passes and make it impossible for him to throw interceptions. As long as Kyle Shanahan's on his game and the Niners have their full array of weapons, Jimmy Garoppolo is fine. He's not a liability at all. If you start taking things away and Kyle's not on his game, he'll be an interception machine, just like Nick Mullins. So to me, I mean, what Mullins did against the Rams was pretty modest. I mean, he wasn't, he didn't take over the game. He executed an excellent game plan. He distributed the ball to his game to his playmakers and didn't lose the, and didn't screw up. I think that's a, a fair expectation for him the rest of the way. It's what Jimmy did last year. If we're being honest, it's what Jimmy did to get the Niners to the Super Bowl last year. Uh, I don't know if Nick's going to take the Niners to the Super Bowl, but purely because I don't know if the, the team is as good as it was last year, the offensive line in particular. So I think we definitely can expect the same level of performance from Nick moving forward because I think like Jimmy. He's a product of his weapons and his game plan and coaching. So some people just think he's trash, though. Crazy. Sorry. Crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. 